Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, as you can tell from the title of the video, we're going to get prepped for Friendsgiving. So Friendsgiving is this week. I got a lot to do, a lot of errands to run, and a lot of things on my to-do list. So before we get any further in today's video, I want to tell you that today's video is being sponsored by HelloFresh. I absolutely love working with HelloFresh because their recipes are always so fun, so easy, and super delicious. So if you guys have never heard of HelloFresh, HelloFresh before, which I would just find that so hard to believe. HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service and they send you pre-portioned meals directly to your doorstep. So it definitely comes in handy during this busy holiday season on days like today when I just really don't want to think about what's for lunch or for dinner. I can just you know, reach into my HelloFresh box, pull out something and prepare it in like 20 or 30 minutes. So if you guys want to get signed up, you can use our promo code HENLINEVLOGS90 and that'll give you $90 across, off across your first five boxes. And that also is uh, dependent upon your subscription size. So you can click the link in my description box to go ahead and get started. But let's go ahead and open up our box and see what we got. One thing that I absolutely love about HelloFresh is that they always give you a ton of recipes to choose from each week. And let's say you're out of town or maybe you're just not feeling it this week, you can always um, change the date of your delivery or you can skip a week altogether. So it's completely up to you. So the recipes that we have for this week are smothered pepper jack burgers, which sound so good and they just look so delicious. We have Southwest chicken sausage and rice skillet. That sounds delicious and not like anything that I have made before. And then this last one, ooh, this is Old Bay butter up chicken. Like I wonder if they knew that I was from Baltimore because y'all know Old Bay is definitely a Maryland staple. Like you can find this in anybody's house in Maryland, in Baltimore. So this seems like it is right up our alley. I think we're gonna make that today. The Old Bay buttered up chicken with garlic mashed potatoes and roasted veggies. Sounds super delicious. So let's go ahead and get cooking. I 
excited to finally try this meal. This is just another thing that I love about HelloFresh. It cuts out the meal planning, it cuts out the grocery trips, and you can get your meal on the dinner table in 30 minutes or less. This only took me about 25 minutes to make. So let's go ahead and try it because I am so excited to try this Obey butter mm. on the chicken. Let's try it. Mm. Amazing. You know, I've never cooked with Obey on like poultry. I only use it on my seafood. And this Obey butter is just heavenly. Mm. I'm just trying to mash potatoes. Mm. Mashed potatoes are garlicky, they're buttery. Mm. I'm telling y'all, HelloFresh knows how to hook it up. They have some bomb recipes and are always taking me right out of my comfort zone. I would have never thought to cook with the Obey on my poultry, let alone throw it in a butter and make a compound butter out of it. So I am really happy with this. Like I said, guys, I will have a link in my description box down below and you can use my code HINLONGVLOGS90 and that'll get you $90 off across your first five boxes. So we're in the Dollar Tree and don't sleep on Dollar Tree because they have a lot of good stuff, especially for like hosting and stuff. Yes, I got my little baby and her carrier. Say hi, mama. Say hi, baby. Um, and so I like this section right here with all the like, um, just like different trays and stuff. Like they got these plastic cups, like the same stuff that you would see in Party City. Little margarita glasses, these dessert shooters and all of like the clear cutlery and stuff like that. So I got, I got a few serving utensils, some tongs some little shooters but I was looking for shot glasses and now I see them they're all the way up there so I gotta get that um but yeah they just have a really nice party section so yay so not even just like for um like regular events but like baby showers and, and birthday parties is that right mommy is that right mama <laughs> yeah so I'm about to spend some time in here and I'll show you guys what I got when I get out. Look at this. They got the silverware already in the napkin. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. And then they have these. I told you guys I was looking for shot glasses. I'm going to get these. These are nice. They have like the gold in them as opposed to the regular ones that I have. Look at this. This is all the stuff that you find in Party City for like so expensive for like candy bars and stuff. Look at this, and it's in the dollar store. So we just left out of Dollar Tree. It was like kind of hard to vlog in there because um, I had Naya strapped to me and then I left my the normal mask. I'm gonna try to look in my car, but I left my normal mask that I normally wear. And so I wore Henry's and that thing was not breathable whatsoever. So ah! yeah, it wasn't mommy. So then I'm like, Daggone near sweating behind the mask and carrying in Anaya and trying to check off everything from my list and make sure that I don't have to do two stops. Um, but yeah, so we left out of Dollar Tree. I still want to go into baby, I still want to go into um Wegmans oh. to get some fresh flowers. If I'm not near Trader Joe's or if I'm not making a trip to Trader Joe's, which I'm not this week, um, then I always get fresh flowers from Wegmans. They have really nice um roses and pretty much all of their floral is great. So I'm gonna stop in there for that. Um, and then the last place I want to go into oh, is wow. is Party City, and I need pretty much like um tablecloths out of there and like the sterno set up to keep the food hot and stuff like that um so that's what i'm gonna get out of there so we still got a couple more stops to make hopefully anaya cooperates and we don't have to cut this trip short because i'm trying to get all of this out of the way today you gonna be good for mama are you gonna be good for mommy is that a yes is that a yes Say yes, mommy, I'm going to be a good baby. Say yes, mommy, I'm going to be a good baby. She's not going to want to go back in her car seat. Yeah. But I just had to feed my muffin real quick, right? Real quick? No, ma'am. All right. So I'm going to finish feeding her, guys, and then we are going to head to Wegmans. So we came into Michael's because I figured they might have some, um, like, leftover Thanksgiving stuff. Um, 
or like fall stuff that might be on clearance um and i forgot to mention to you guys that it is literally like 70 75 degrees or so out that's part of the reason why i literally <laughs> couldn't breathe in that other mask but um yes yeah, so i'm looking at the candles we do need some pillar candles i don't know if i want regular ones or if i want like real ones so we left out of michael's they didn't have anything that i was looking for but they did have a ton of cute stuff for christmas i literally had to get out of there before i got sidetracked their stuff was just so cute i think my next order like my next um christmas shopping trip is definitely going to be in there because they just had a ton of stuff in every color and now we're about to go into party city and hopefully they have the rest of the stuff that i'm looking for hey guys so it's a few days later and unfortunately we had to cancel Ow! yeah we had to um cancel our friends giving like so annoying um basically our governor gave an update on tuesday that he basically said that maryland is regressing um you know in the progress towards you know a safer state or safer maryland um and he also said like two of the things that stood out to me um come on mama were he said that the number one way people are um getting and spreading covid is through family gatherings and house parties and then they also strongly urged um the Maryland State Department of Health, if I'm not mistaken, strongly urged any indoor gatherings over 25 people. And we were like right at that. So we just decided to cancel it. We felt like it was the responsible thing to do, even though we definitely wanted to have it. Our friends were so excited. So that really sucks. Um, but hopefully things get better because, um, you know, we definitely, it's just been a tough year. It's so annoying. It's been a rough 2020. We've lost um you know a lot of celebrities this year we lost um a lot of people lost family to covid um, my family included so it's just it's just so crazy and so i just feel like we were all looking forward to this and just finally trying to let loose and have some fun we've been in the house for almost a year it's just been crazy um so it really sucks that we had to cancel it but maybe if things um are you know looking better in the next few weeks we can have like an ugly christmas sweater party or um maybe for like new year's eve we can do something just something you know where we can just get together with the people that we love um so yeah and i also don't know what that will mean for thanksgiving it's like i don't even this girl oh my god i'm gonna get you she literally just had henry's ring in her mouth but um yeah i don't even really want to even think about thanksgiving but it, this is just getting to be too much um but anyway i figured i would still show you guys what i got anyway because i know some people will be like like can you please still show me um since the first half of this video was about that anyway so let me just show you guys really quick most of the stuff i can reuse it doesn't necessarily have to be for friendsgiving so mama you sit right here First thing I got were some sternos and some, um, like, you know, the little things to keep your food hot. So I got three of these. And then I got three of the little fuel things. So, like, something like this I can definitely reuse, whether it be for Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving, Christmas, a birthday party, like, whatever. These are things that we can keep for a while and constantly reuse. And then I also got, this is not related, but I got some awesome. When I went to the dollar store, what, a few months ago, and I was telling you guys I needed a stain remover, and then I decided not to get the awesome. You guys were eating me up in the comments, so I got it this time, since you guys said that um, it does work. So I picked that up. I also got some ping pong balls because we were going to play a COVID-friendly um, rendition of beer pong. I just got some paper towels to go in the guest bathroom. I also got these shot glasses. There we go. Can you see them? It's, it's kind of hard to focus on them, but mm, let me see. Hopefully you guys can see them a little bit, but there are these shot glasses. They came in a 10 pack. This was all from the dollar store, y'all. So I got a bunch of shot glasses. I 
also got, we had needed some hand soap for the um, guest bathroom, so I got some hand soap. Oh, I have more shot glasses, so I got 40 in total. I got four packages. There's that. I got two sets of silver tongs. And then I got these plastic serving utensils. And then I got regular clear um, cutlery. And then I got this like hammered bowl and I was gonna use this to put like the bread in. So that's all I got. Um, I had went in Party oh. City. Maybe this was a sign, but I had went in Party City and I was just like a little flustered because I was trying to vlog. I had a Naya and I wasn't finding what I wanted to find. Um, so I winded up not getting plates, napkins, um, cups, anything like that. And I hadn't ordered the food yet either. Um, so this is all I had gotten this week for the Friendsgiving. So I'm happy about that. But like I said, we can just reuse this stuff. Um, so yeah, that's that. So moving on um, from Friendsgiving, I did go to Walmart this morning. Um, a lot of Walmart, Target, pretty much all of the retail stores, they're doing that thing where um, their Black Friday specials are all month long instead of just on Black Friday due to COVID. So they had this walker on sale and it's still on sale if you guys want to get it. They had this walker on sale for $11. So I got this for Anaya. So I got this for Anaya um, because the wa the walkers where you like put the whole baby's body inside of it, those are actually counterproductive to walking um, from what I research. Um, they can actually hinder your baby from walking um, as, as soon as what they would like. Sometimes it just stalls them a little bit more. So I got her this kind where she can like stand up and push it like a shopping cart. So I'm about to put this together to, for her and then we can see how she likes it. All right, y'all, so I put it together. This is what it looks like. And um, it actually is supposed to go with batteries, but I didn't know that. So I didn't put the batteries, I didn't buy any batteries to put inside of it. But you got like your ABCs on the front and then the numbers up to 10. And then I suppose this probably lights up and then that's like that. And then you got some colors over here, but she don't like it, y'all. Here, let me show you. Here, let me show you. I think the problem is when she tries to grab on the handle, it moves from under her. So then she gets scared and then she literally throws it and crawls. Is Anaya standing up like a big girl? I think she's definitely unsure of it because it moves. I'm through. Her tooth, she got two teeth coming in at the bottom. Look, oh, it's too blurry. Mommy, mommy, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Oh my goodness, with that. Well, there's that. I also got these. Got two packs of these because y'all, when I tell y'all she be trying, a baby's finger can fit in that tiny little opening. So I'm about to go around and pop all of these in our outlets. Take